Welcome to Total Body Sizzle. This is going to be your 25 minute class. I'm going to be using two five pound dumbbells as well as the mini bands. And in this case, I'm using the medium resistance. You can use either light or the heavy. That's up to you. We're gonna go ahead and get started with our warm up. So go ahead, let's begin with a shoulder roll. Lift your shoulder blades up, back and down. Start with a reach off to the side and lift up your toes to get a full stretch all the way down to the ankles and all the way up to the side, rib cage underneath the arm through the fingertips. So reach for again for four, three, two, take it to the side, reach. And then we got four more to go. Four, three, two, one. Heel digs. So as you do these, you do want to bend at the knee. It just gets you a little bit lower so you can actually tap the floor. And that's too hard on the knees. Feel free to do more of a kick. Less bending. Let's go four, three, two and then toe tap so i am going to lean forward tapping the toes to the floor again if it's if this is uncomfortable on the knees go ahead and do more of just a swinging back leg i'm fine with that takes the pressure off the knees all right let's go for four three two and we're going to do the side task i'm going to add the arms into this one so pinkies up to the ceiling side raise Again, if you want to change the pattern on the knees, you're going to do more of a stand-up position and you're doing a toe tap like so. All right, we're going to start from the top. After four, three, arms up over the head. Here comes that side reach. Go, eight, seven. I'm going to pick up the speed a little bit. And four, three, two, reach side to side now. Four, three, two, heel digs or kicks. Keep my hands here. Four more. And then toe taps. Four, three, and then last one of our pattern, side taps with the arms. Four, three, two, one. All right, a little bit of stretching here. We're gonna take our feet nice and wide so they're just right outside my shoulders. Arms up, what you're gonna do is rotate your torso. You're gonna tap your shins, come back up and do the other side. Again, if you're if it's, diffi if it's <laughs> difficult on your knees, you feel pressure on it, you're just gonna go right to the thigh and do more of a torso twist that way. As we move throughout the class, you're going to notice your flexibility is going to help. It's going to increase. You'll be able to get down further. So yes, you're going to feel this in the hamstrings. A little stretch in the calves. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Shoulder roll. We're gonna continue on with the warm up, but I am going to add a weight to the warm up because this is a weighted class. Sometimes in, when I used to teach classes, we did a warm up with weight instead of just body weight. So the first thing you're gonna do is wrap the weight around the head. I call this around the world. Big circles here. Make sure the weight goes behind the head. If this is difficult for the range of motion, feel free to just go above the head and then down by the chest. No right or wrong. And then we're gonna reverse. Let's go five times. Embrace the belly, support the lower back when you do that. Two, one, all right. Weight in one hand, take a step back. Now watch this move here. You're gonna swing the arm up and then let it swing back. Lift the arm up, swing back. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see that. 
So lifting the arm up and down. Again, front knee is gonna bend slightly, but you can always do this straight. But I like the bent knee, it feels more natural. Last one. Switch. Take a step back, let the arm back first, and then use your momentum to get the weight up. So virtually this is really not working necessarily the shoulder, like strengthening the shoulder, but it is helping with stability, range of motion. You're letting the arm just kind of do its thing, lifting it up. Your goal is to get it close to the ear. All right, let's do one more. Starting with the round the world, let's repeat those moves. Let's go again, I'm gonna go a little bit faster. And reverse that four times. One single arm swings with a step back and go. Let's do four times, four, three, two, and one switch lift up for four three two and one all right weight down let's do a little bit of hip mobility if you need the chair to hold on to you're going to need it right now because we're going to do a little bit of balancing so you're going to take one knee up and out down close together opposite up out and down kind of like a semicircle. Little ones up and over, down. Last one, we're gonna reverse that out to in. So turn the toes out, bring your knee up and down. We'll do one more each side. Now we're gonna go back to that swinging. So this time you're gonna take your foot, toes pointed, Watch here again. If you need to hold on to your chair, go right ahead. Swing to the front. We're going to transition right to the rear. Ready? Front to back. Swing. Holding balance. <laughs> All right. Last one. And stop. Switch. Start side to side. Pendulum. See if you can point the toes. One more. Front to back, again, real basic. Warm up is just to get the blood moving and all the joints into the muscle and go ahead, stop. All right, we're just gonna repeat. We're gonna make it a little bit quicker. Uh, in, out, hips for four, three, two, one, reverse, out to in, four, three, two, Pendulum swing, side to side, four, three, two, one, front to back. Oop. And switch, side to side, three, two, one, front to back. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and grab our mini band. Placement, I'm, we're gonna start with the legs. I'm gonna change the position. Normally we've been on the arches of our feet. This time we're gonna have it around the ankles. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of waddling. So I'm gonna start one end of my yoga mat. We're gonna go side to side. We're standing up straight. I get about four stops. Yours may be less than that. Or if you're not even using a yoga mat, no worries. So already, right? You're feeling the work. The key here is to make sure you lift up both feet. Sometimes people tend to drag. Don't drag your foot. Lift it up, lift. So that's why you get the waddle in there. Side, two, three. We're gonna do one more pass. Two, three, finish it out. Two, three, that was only three. <laughs> uh, side to front, quads. Take a step for forward, heel down, just like our heel digs. Soften the knee on the opposite leg, lift up and down. Heel touches, lift and down. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see this. Lift, tap, lift, tap. 
Use the chair if you need to. And here's a little tip when you hold on to the chair. And this can count for any single exercise. Finger tap. So in other words, I don't want you to grip on it. Just fingertip because that is the easiest way to eventually release. Okay, let's switch sides. Step out, heel tap, lift and down. Brace the belly. Anytime that leg lifts, use your abdominals. Actually, your abdominals should kick on and down. That's gonna help support the lower back. Let's do a few more. Two, one, step out. Now I'm gonna turn to the side. We're gonna do hamstring curls again, if you need this. Tap. You're gonna balance on one leg. Heel's gonna lead the way, curl, tap. So here's a little downfall with the bands if you haven't figured it out already. It tends to fold. <laughs> and this is one of those exercises that it may do that. If it becomes a nuisance, just do this body weight only. Mine did fold in the front, but I'm still able to get a good uh, feeling in the back of the leg, so I'm gonna keep it going. So directly feeling this is right behind the knee, that's normal. It's gonna go right up to underneath the butt. And what I like about this particular move, it also gets the calves. Two, last one. And switch, waddle yourself. <laughs> Balance, have the chair if you need it. Start curling, lift, toe tap down. Lift, toe tap. Real basic, basic but effective. And down. Now notice I'm not straight upright. You're slightly leaning forward because that's a more natural position for the lower back in this particular exercise. Do a couple more and recover. Go ahead, lose the band for right now. Remember, my classes are typically, the exercises are in two sets. As we get more advanced, we're gonna take that two sets into three sets. But I'm gonna give you a break on the lower legs. We're gonna do the upper body. So we're gonna grab your weights. We're gonna start with some bicep curls. So right off, we're gonna do some smaller muscle groups, but just as important as the larger ones. So palm space down, alternating reverse curl. So for some, this may be a move that you've never done before. Others, you may have seen it, but never tried it. And then, yeah, those are usually the two things. <laughs> you've either seen it or, or just never, never done it before. So what it is, it's still working the biceps, but it also works the top of the forearms. And bonus, your wrists. Okay, so you should feel all those muscle groups working all on top of the arm. Now this one's a full stand-up position. So heels right underneath the hips. Soften the knees, but it's not a knee bend. Just soften. Embrace. Tuck tailbone underneath. Lift the chest. Last four. Three. Two. And to complete the arms here, well, I just say complete it as in going front to back, palms are gonna face the front and we're just gonna alternate bringing our arms back. We get the triceps, right? Easy. <laughs> Exercise doesn't have to be complicated. We just wanna find something to move and keep moving. <laughs> Usually it's the same thing, repeated pattern. Again, I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see how far back I'm going. You don't have to strain. What I don't wanna see is that swing. We did the swing way in the beginning, right? Believe it or not, here's another tip. Swinging is a compensating thing. If, if the weight gets, feels heavy, um, your body's gonna kinda of take over any way possible. And then that's why you see a lot of people swinging and that's, that's cheating. I don't like that. <laughs> no cheating here in my classes. All right, let's do four more. Four. Three, two, 
one shoulder roll. We got one more exercise and then we're going to repeat. This one's gonna be for the shoulders. I'm gonna modify this move. It's a side raise. Watch first. I'm gonna alternate. We're sticking with the alternating today. Okay, so here it is on the side. This is probably the most trickiest one when I work with clients is to get the elbow in the right position. I'm gonna break this down for you. What I tend to see a lot, and you may see it too, so look at yourself in the screen or if you have a mirror near you, we tend to go in this position where the, well, actually, let me back up. It tends to do this. You kind of drop the elbow. You see that? It's too far low. And then you kind of actually work, you're getting into the pecs, believe it or not. I can feel it in the pec. So what you have to do, keep going, but I'm gonna pause it here. Fix the elbow by raising it up. So I was here, shoulder blade back and down, lift it up. Keep going, last four. Four, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, weights down, perfect time for a drink. Know what I said. Round two, grab your mini band. Do you remember all the moves that we did? <laughs> Good thing I'm here. Okay, so the first one we did was those side steps. So set your body position, shoulder blades back, squeeze, okay? Let's do a waddling. Now, I want you to take a little bit more of a challenging challenge by taking bigger steps now. So in fact, instead, I, I think I did four last time. I'm gonna do three now. Okay, try it. Big, grr, steps. So I actually, I went so big, I'm off the mat. Okay. A lot of times when I work with clients, we'll do one set and then your second set is some sort of challenge, some sort of intensity change. Not that there's anything wrong with sticking the same, because by all means, that's just as good. But I like to kind of push them to the next. And I don't mean push to pain. I mean, just give yourself a little challenge because you know what? If I wasn't gonna tell you that, you wouldn't have done it. And then a lot of times you finish it and you're like, oh, I didn't think I could do that. That's the type of feeling that I want you to get out of these workouts. I think this is our fifth workout class. If you're following the order. And as you can see, the workouts are challenging. But if I wasn't there with you, you wouldn't have done it. Okay, last one, I promise. <laughs> and stop. Okay. Felt that a lot more in the glutes when we did those wider steps. So we went to quads. Same exact position. So you want to heel, tap down, lifting up. Now I'm gonna challenge you here and we're gonna challenge is going to be the balance. The move is not gonna change. Well, slightly change. So what I mean by that, instead of heel tap, we're gonna raise our leg and we're gonna keep it up. Again, finger tap. And then now you feel all in the quads. You don't get that release. The release, that little quick break was the heel tap. Now I took that out of it. And that just made it like times 10, right? <laughs> Try it, try a few. Too much, go back to the heel taps. All right, we got some more. Ready, let's go. Four, three, two, one. Wow, that made a huge different difference just by not tapping the floor. Let's see if we can do it on the other side. Start with getting your balance in check. Okay, everything's real tight, shoulder blades back, lift the chest. Start here, get your bearings down first. Okay, so you're not too wobbly. Of course, that's what the chair is for, right? <laughs> then once you kind of get it, lift, don't touch the heel of the floor. And notice the change in the muscle groups that are now working to keep you, not only leg working here, but keeping you from not falling down. <laughs> Those are your stability muscles, your core. Yep, we got more. Hang in there. Last five, four, three, two, one. Step out. Yes. 
big change, that burning sizzle, <laughs> right? The name of the class, hamstrings. Okay, no difference here except the positioning. So stepping, step back, but then lean forward. Okay, we started like this. We did a toe tap to the floor. You know what I'm gonna say, right? <laughs> okay, if you're ready, go ahead and begin. Lift up, lower, lift, lift. Can you bring your back heel further to your butt? Oh, much tougher, right? Without getting that little release with the toe tap. Balance, again, lots of things working right now, keeping us upright. I'm gonna challenge you, ready? Five more, go, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, I lost my balance right there. All right, let's finish this up. Last time. Switch legs. Okay, get your bearings straight. Up and down, toe tab. So again, you don't want to be upright. You want this knee to be soft. Okay, protecting, protecting the lower back. Lift. If you haven't already done so, do it without the toe tap now. Which one's more challenging? The front quads or the hamstrings? You can let me know in the comments. <laughs> All right, last five, go. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, band is completed. Grab your dumbbells. So standing up nice and tall, lift the chest. We did our reverse curls alternating. This time I want you to do reverse curls, both arms at the same time. Let's go. Lift and down. I still want full range here. The only challenge that I did was just adding now both arms at the same time. In this case, it is more intense, believe it or not. So you should notice a difference. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. We're getting down towards the end of class. So things are getting, we're fatigued. Keep moving, but focus on your breathing as well. On the hardest part, breathe out. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. Lead with the forearms. Get your weight all the way up. If I was right next to you, I want to see that. Let's do five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, triceps. Palm space forward. Lean slightly forward and both arms are going to come back. And then down, turn to the side. Squeeze and down, lift. You should feel those right away, All right? It makes a difference when you're doing both arms at the same time. Lift, squeeze. All right, keep going, lift and down. Last five. Four, three, two. We have one more exercise. Shoulder roll, get your shoulder blades in place. Elbows right at your side. Both arms are gonna come up and down. Let's begin. Lift, we talked about the elbow placement. So if you can, or either look at the screen or look at your elbows, where are they? Are they dripping down? We don't want that. Get your elbows up, down. Squeeze. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Lift. This is tough, right? I know we're fatigued. We're right towards the end. All right, last five. But we're getting stronger. Each session, you're going to get stronger and stronger. What you couldn't do then, you can do now. What you can't do now, you can do soon, soon, later. Could be the next day, could be the next week, could be the next month. 
and completed. All right, weights down. Shake it out, twist the back. All right, we're actually gonna go right down to the floor. I'm gonna finish it up with um, a plank series. I tend to do that a lot when I work with clients. We tend to do a little bit of core strengthening right towards the end of class because that involves the entire body. So forearms, modified plank. Coming down, have your elbows directly over your, or sorry, underneath your shoulders, hands separated. Drop your hips if you can. Now to modify this move, you're gonna be in, um, you're just lifting your hips up. So my hips would be actually probably over my knees. Okay. What I would do if I was working with you, I would actually start to have you take little baby steps forward to get your hips lowered. So tuck your tailbone underneath. You can stay here. You can inch your way forward. As you inch your way forward, drop your hips. Okay. And just, we're holding for a few seconds at a time. Sorry for those of you who've been holding. <laughs> and then release. Go into a child's pose. I'm gonna go into cobra pose. Okay, so we're kind of doing this with a stretch. We're gonna do that one more time because I was kind of really introducing that move. So I wanna do one more. We're still on our knees. Lift the hips, eyes look ahead. Press your forearms firmly down. Hold for five, four, three, two, one and release. All right, I'm gonna push myself into a child's pose, extending the arms. And then go ahead, face front if you're not already. I'm gonna do a hip flexor stretch. If this is uh, difficult for you to be on one knee, you can do this standing. So if you are kneeling, go ahead. I'm gonna do this rocking back and forth. So what I'm doing is pushing forward three times, two, and this last one, hold. Take your opposite hand up and over. Back to center, extend the front leg. We're gonna go right into our hamstring stretch. Come down as much as you can. If you can only go right at the knee, stay at the knee, just as long as you feel a stretch in the back of the knee and into the, up the leg. For those of you who are more flexible, fingertips to the floor, and then lower your chest towards your knee. All right, let's try the other side. Hip flexors, so tucking your tailbone, feel a good stretch. You can actually stay here. I didn't say that before, but if you're feeling a good stretch, no need to move front and back. I like to add a little bit of the inner thigh. Again, flexibility. I'm gonna do one more and I'm gonna hold, reach up and over. And then hips go back into a hamstring stretch. It is okay if your knee is not fully straightened. If you have that knee bend, that is okay. As long as you are feeling a ham, your hamstrings in this position, I am good with that. Your flexibility will increase the more that you do these exercises. Okay, take your time, go ahead, stand up. Last thing, we'll just stretch the upper body, starting with the chest, pushing the elbows back. Biceps, reach up, use the assistance of your opposite arm, press the elbow back. And change positions, reach up and back. Shoulders, reach forward, assistance, use the opposite arm, bring it in, twist the neck. Check it out. Other side, reach forward and over. And end with a shoulder roll. You ladies are all set. Thank you guys for coming to class. Until next time, bye.